The 1936 Berlin Olympics are best remembered for the legendary Jesse Owens's four gold medals in track and field. The undisputed star of the competition was Ohio State University track star Jesse Owens. The Buckeye Bullet took gold medals in the 100 and 200 meter men's sprints and the running broad jump. But he was just one of 18 African-American athletes who traveled to Germany for the games. Included in the 18, were three extraordinary men from the Pacific Coast Conference. One of the things that's fairly unique about the United States is how closely sports are tied to our educational institutions. And that's because at the turn of the 20th century, people believed that intellectual capacity and, and athletic ability kind of reinforced themselves. They went hand in hand. And so for African-Americans, they were trying to use sports as a way to make claims about the greater society. The success of these 18 athletes was designed to say, look at what we can do when given a chance to compete on equal time. Taking home the silver medal behind Owens in the 200 meters was Pasadena City College's Mac Robinson the older brother of Jackie Robinson. After the games, Mack would enroll at Oregon, where he won the 1938 NCAA and AAU 200-meter titles for the Webfoots. Mack would later become a community leader in Pasadena, and the Robinson Memorial in front of the Pasadena City Hall honors both brothers. You know, Mac Robinson um, is part of the, the, the story we often don't hear about Jackie Robinson, um, is how his brother in many ways had been a, a trailblazer. And certainly Jackie um, learned some things from him and was able to, to pick up the family mantle and to continue to do amazing things. After breaking the world record at the NCAA championships, Cal's Archie Williams won gold in the 400 meters. In the closest finish of the games, Uncle Sam's Archie Williams barely beats out England's Godfrey Brown. Williams served as a U.S. Air Force pilot and trained the legendary Tuskegee Airmen before becoming a weather officer during World War II. He would later teach science for 21 years at Sir Francis Drake High School in San Anselmo, California. In May of 2021, the high school was renamed Archie Williams High. It's an amazing story. Someone who was able to shape the lives of hundreds of fighter pilots at a time when being a, a pilot in the, in the 1940s was, was the most prestigious job that someone could have in the, in the United States. We have to remember this is at the very beginning of mass, mass flight. Uh, throughout the world, and so he was someone who definitely left an impact. Archie wasn't the only Pac-12 athlete on the 400-meter medal stand. Taking home the bronze was UCLA's Jimmy Louval. A straight-A student and Phi Beta Kappa member, Louval earned masters in chemistry and physics from UCLA before becoming the first African-American to receive a PhD from the California Institute of Technology. In 1985, UCLA named its new student center the Louval Commons in his honor. These athletes were fighting against those ideas that you had to pick one. You had to either be smart or you had to be a great athlete. And I think the success of someone like Jimmy Laval really speaks to that and became a very important scientist in the 1950s and 60s. The 18 African-American athletes took home 14 medals at the 1936 Olympics. Eight gold, four silver, and two bronze. A quarter of the United States total medal count. Jesse Owens' success and the meaning of the, the 1936 Olympics cast a wide and broad shadow. But I really do think it, it, it was this idea of having a critical mass of African Americans there to this larger movement to create more opportunities for African Americans to compete 
at the highest levels in athletics, but also in academics, because I think that is part of this 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 issue that that often gets overlooked is that these were college students and what gave them this platform and this opportunity was the fact that they had access to these elite universities.